Okay, I messed that up a little bit. What do you expect? I mess everything up. So, <laughs> hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. I apologize it's starting at kind of an awkward time. I just woke up not long ago and wanted time to have a cup of coffee first. Um, hello, Ryan. Oh, Bella is exercising. <laughs> this is what I'm getting. Yep, she is exercising. Oh, that little track jacket is cute. Yeah, I can buy the, the, the hat for you, Nisa. Same trendy eeks. Let's talk. The petals are so pretty, being surrounded by dancing flowers. It's like I'm a princess. So hello, Rand. Just have to hope that it's still here myself. It should be, because they mentioned they don't change it up very often, so... Yeah, it is still here. I'm, I'm sorry, what? No, give me. Give me. Oh, I don't have the money. I'll go... I need to go grab money. Hold up. <laughs> It is still there. I forgot I didn't have money on me. <laughs> I'm not gonna go visit freaking Rodney, I think his name was. I don't I don't care enough about him. There's no need to pay me back the bells for it. It's it's nothing, really. I mean there's no way it'll be more than, you know a few th like a thousand or so. Any more inquiries about the campsite you helped build? So yes, my plan to draw visitors easily with a campsite has proven itself to be a masterpiece. I laid the groundwork to increase tourism, and I hope the number of island residents. Now, that positive word of mouth marketing about Aventum will just spread. I admit, though, it's the most difficult part of the whole adventure. Don't you worry, Mr. Nook. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we can reach our goal of having KK hold a concert here. You feel the same way I do, don't you, Steven? Dreams do come true! So, well, Steven, thank you very so much. More determined than ever. We're not done yet. We're all counting on you. When you're ready to... Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that, Nook. I need... Oh, you something to tell me. It's about our campsite. Waiting for visitors okay, but maybe you're interested in taking a more proactive approach. So you can use the Amiibo to invite guests to the campsite with the new servers I've added. Access the servers at next stop. It works with any Animal Crossing character's Amiibo. I have a Nook Amiibo. I could make Nook go to the campsite. <laughs> Though it, it's still in its packaging and I don't really want to open it. I need the ABD. I don't even know if this controller even has a freaking... Thing on it for that. That'll work. Let's see. Nothing new. I did look it up. Hello, Nautilus. The only way I'm gonna be getting the, uh, the rusted parts is having Gulliver show up. And then if I help him, I get one. If I don't help him, I can get five. But I want to help him every time he shows up. So... I need him to show up a lot. Because I need 30. Yeah, I'll buy the uh, hat. Yeah, it's only a thousand bells. It's... That's... It, no worry about paying that back. And also, yes, there is a hot dog costume back there. I want this tiny hat. My tiny hat is more expensive than the hat. <laughs> so. Alright. Tiny hat. Yep, there we go. Perfect. 
It's not even actually sitting on my head. Uh, I was looking up yesterday. You find one after you help Gulliver in the, the box in Resident Services. Now, the thing I was looking up might be incorrect, and they might just show up there randomly as well. But it seemed like... Um, It seemed like they only show up with, uh, g What? The last time? Oh, this is still the thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it is, but purple. <laughs> These flowers have started blooming. I'm mostly just checking my beach really quick to see if I can find Gulliver. Um... Uh, the rusted part, it's used for crafting things. I only know of one recipe it's used in currently. It's one I want to build and has set my ultimate goal of the series to build. And that's this. <laughs> Takes 30 of them. <laughs> Basically everything in this game seems to be used for crafting something. Yeah, I'll go put this hat away. Pole vault. It's the most pointless pole vault ever. Um, I mean, you are. Everyone's used for crafting themselves. Yeah, I'm, I may as well start seeing if I can find who has this stuff. I have an idea. Let's see how many more times we can talk to each other today, eeks. You lose this? Let me see. It's a book. So bring this to me, but it's totes not mine. Hmm. Kind of strikes me of a Clyde deal. Of course it would be Clyde's. Of course it would be Clyde's. There he is. Hi, hey, it's me, Clyde! Yeah, I know it's you, Clyde. Drop this? Huh? Like what? Like this book? Whoa! It's my diary! I thought it was gone for good! Thanks, I've been looking for it forever! Here, let me give you a reward. Okay. You like that? It's an exercise ball! Are, are you trying to tell me something, Clyde? Do I have- no I don't. Right. I just have stuff for getting- I just have the tools for digging up clams and making bait. Because that's what I was doing last night. Um... Clyde is- Clyde is Clyde. I think that's the only thing I've got there, yeah. Also, I ended up catching a uh, fly last night. Proving that my turnip does- D does does uh, my rotting turnip does attract things? It's just flies are apparently pretty pretty rare. I must push the wrong button. Uh, put this. Yeah, just so I don't lose it in my storage. I'm gonna put it in the moth room because my storage is pretty clustered with stuff. Hello, AI. Jeez, there's a lot of you here today. It's a freaking Monday. What are you all doing here? <laughs> oh, man, I'm glad you guys are here. But at the same time, it's Monday. Sleep. Pretty sure it's Monday. Is it Monday? No, oh, yeah, it's Tuesday. Days are... Abstract concept. Still, it's Tuesday. Sleep. True, but quarantine is even more reason to sleep. Just sleep all the time. Fishy rod. Slingshot. I may as well get my watering can out and use it till it breaks. I need to get my ladder out, too. I 
don't understand why online classes would take having to be up at specific times. Like, do teachers not see the little record button next to the stream button? <laughs> like... I know I'm 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 very much a strange one, but you know it it literally just takes me taking my mouse to clicking this button that says REC, and you know. See, moving's only a bitch if you make it a bitch. I say as someone who has moved, like the thing that was. A bitch about the move we made was that everyone was in such a rush we left things behind that we didn't want to leave behind because no one was thinking apparently except me Ninety-six point not ninety-six. Forty-six point five. There. Pretty sure anyway. Where did my brain get a point five from? I just woke up like 47 minutes ago. Give me a break. <laughs> Even when I was going to school, I still had a good like two hours to wake up before I did anything. Okay, what are my what are my Nook Miles stuff? <laughs> I mean, you know, let, let let them remember their old home before before you sell them to Nook. Well, the Nooklings technically still selling them to Nook. I was shooting stars a while back. I don't know if I had them last night or anything. I didn't really play much last night. I don't even remember if I watered my flowers last night. <laughs> I think I did, because I think I watered them on stream. Which reminds me, I'm going to water some flowers while I'm here. I'm going to start with the easiest to water ones. And dig these up, of course. And I'm probably going to be fishing a little bit in today's stream. Oh, hey, it's, it's Sahara. I might buy some more... More... Ugh, floor and wallpaper. I don't know why I'm gassy. All I've drank is coffee. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't been there yet. Right, it's 3,000 for each of this. Sorry, Sahara, I, I don't have the money. I would gladly buy mysterious flooring and wallpaper, because last time I did that, it worked out frickin' amazingly. And then Bunny Day happened, and I had to put it both in frickin' storage. Yeah, Frickin' zipper. Creepy bunny of the end times. But yeah, I'll, I'll check the Nook's shop in a, in a little bit. I need to sell seashells, so I'll go grab those. 
clean up my beaches and then I'll check when I'm there. I had to buy things from them anyway, so. Because I'm still assuming that's how the shop gets bigger, so. Um. Roses? <laughs> That's the only white flower that's right here, I think. Have you, have you never seen roses before? <laughs> They're a pretty common flower. They're one of my favorites. Help. I was trying to talk to her and I watered Marina. Good. Good afternoon, Blurp. Let's chat. Try to be a good listener. You can talk to me anytime, Blurp. She says that a lot. Hey, Antonio, how's it going, buddy? Looking built, honk. What's up? Let's talk. Can't beat a cold protein shake after a hard workout. I live for that first sip. I, I wouldn't know, Antonio. I've never had a protein shake. Like, ever. I've worked out, but like... I've, I've never had a protein shake or anything. Never exactly saw the point. But I also eat a lot of meat, so I already get a lot of protein. I need to be a bit lower. That's like if we're not looking at the screen. Eh, it's just egg. I don't want eggs! I want recipes! Now oh, what's this? Oh! Oh, those come from regular balloons! I was told they came from the Bunny Day balloons. So I shouldn't have been ignoring these all that time. And if anyone else has been ignoring the regular balloons and looking for cherry blossom stuff, <laughs> we know better now! <laughs> so I really want to see what all this looks like. The bamboo actually spread it. Alright, it's the money spot again. And I missed. Completely. Good. This looks so much better with the bamboo growing too. I am definitely going to need to keep the bamboo under control. I don't want it overtaking things. But this definitely works. I can't exactly tell what tool I've got here. I was gonna climb up the other spot. Climb up here! I saw the, the, the color of the ladder. Oh, that is a different color! Yes, I have to mess with the colors of my TV to see that. So I have it set, it doesn't exactly, uh... ...help. When it comes to seeing too much. Helps a lot, it's not everything. But yay, the joys of changing the colors on your TV manually. Yeah, turnip prices will usually be bad early in the week. My afternoon prices were okay yesterday, which gives me a bit of hope for my prices all week. I don't know why I didn't realize it was, you know, I was... Okay, okay, I, I see now. I was like, oh, that was just a thing? No, the bottle's up there, because my water can... 
So it's all luck. I was figuring out uh, what kind of protein shake I wanted for lunch. I had an awesome DIY. I was about to say, is that just a, cu a cute rose crown? Okay, I'm never making this. I'm not picking my roses for this. I'm, I'm just not. I'm not gonna pick my roses just to make a freaking crown. It's never gonna happen. I think I already have this. Yep. I get the feeling I might already have all of the Bunny Day recipes. Because I haven't found a new one in quite a while. I scrolled the wrong way, didn't I? I definitely did. I actually haven't caught my morning prices for a while. Like, I missed them today, I missed them yesterday. My sleep schedule is more normal again, so I'm probably going to be missing a lot of my morning prices. <laughs> now, I need beach junk. I also need to- okay, that slot is full. I was going to say, I need to fill that slot before I just have beach junk stuck in my watering can slot. But I'm I'm not visiting. I'm not visiting him. But I know he's here. I'm not. I'm not. Not visiting him. Frickin' Rodney didn't want him here. The game's like, no, you gotta have him. You have no choice in this. Another big spot. Ah, now Bella's just chilling by the, the river. She's so freaking cute. Marina is serenading the radio. Um, <laughs> Sahara is creeping on the beach. Uh, the flower stock changes every day. Just check back every day. Well, what's what's my hot item? Rose wreath, 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 wreath. Yeah, no, not gonna happen. I'm not picking my roses just to make a stupid wreath. Forty made me do that once, game. Oh, hey, some advertising. Advertising. Beautiful. I can, I can speak. My brain is working properly today. Seventy-eight. That's still pretty good. Last week my prices were in the forties at this point, so. That's encouraging. That is very encouraging. Well, let's see. Red that. Red pansies. White that. Yellow roses, white roses, and white pansies. Which are not what I had yesterday, and I know that, so... <laughs> and nothing new there. Hmm. Good. Hmm, Tatani mat. Gimme. I don't have anywhere to put it currently, but I might try putting it in the moth room, honestly. 
How about this, this, this advertising? I mean, it's, it says the flat. It's, it's advertising. Um, you know what? Give it to me. I'm a massive weeb. Give me. I <laughs> just bought tatami mats, so that should tell you everything. I'll be fishing in a little bit. I stockpiled, like, I think it was 70 uh, fish bait that I plan on going through. Wait, I thought this was buy. Oh, it's for selling. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, anything else while I'm in here? Nope. Okay. That does look nice. I've, I've only made one umbrella though, and I don't carry it with me. Cause I don't think I've made it, I bought it. Yeah, it was a black, kinda edgy one I bought. Cause I'm... I like black. <laughs> They're just things you could take and just pop. That's what they're for. They, they don't have a use other than that. Much like in real life, you just get them and pop them. Because you want to do it? I don't know. Doesn't have to be a reason for everything. Oh, Mole Cricket. I don't care about you, Mole Cricket. Nobody cares about you, Mole Cricket. So you get for being a Mole Cricket. Shouldn't be a Mole Cricket. Frickin' Mole Cricket. Assess fossils! I wasn't really paying attention to what he was saying. I think I've fully got a couple, or is it everything? Alright, it's three of them. Yeah, I'm good, Blathers. I mean, that's kind of a thing with Animal Crossing. Not everything has, like, a set use, so... Kind of part of its charm. Yep. Give me a watering can. It's a watering can, not a watering can't. Hey, that's one bell lower than what I bought my turnips for last week. This week it was 102, so, you know. Based on that, Ryan, I'd say your good price will be tomorrow morning. Like, your best price kind of thing. I need my fishing bait. I also feel like I'm gonna sneeze. But I have not sneezed yet. Because usually, at least in the older games, whenever you'd get a price that is either what you paid or pretty close to what you paid, the next morning price would be the highest price of the week. Though so the next afternoon would also be pretty high as well, so. But usually not higher than what the morning was. It's worth checking tomorrow morning to see. If they're high tomorrow morning, like, say, if they're in, like, the 150s, 
I'd say to sell, like, half of your stock and keep the other half. Like, if they're in the 150s to 160s range. And then see what your afternoon or the next day prices offer. That way, you know, you can potentially maximize profits. Right, I forgot to put all this extra crap away. I need to go put all this away before I do anything. I'm smart. And I've also come to the conclusion this pole is just never gonna break. Also, yes, Nisa. An animals will dream of really weird stuff. Like, incredibly weird stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep that, uh, fossil on me. Right, uh, let's try putting this in... The egg room. Not the egg room. The moth room. Gods, my brain is not working this morning. Um. Hmm. Nah, it does. It doesn't work as well. Um, um, that's, that's not where I wanted that. <laughs> I want that on the floor here. That's not exactly where I wanted to put that either. Let's put that and that away. I'm not going to need either of those. It gives me more space for fishing. So, Ryan, I think you're just going insane. Is this what happens when you just hear sheep when there are no sheep? quite right this morning. Jeez. Ugh. Elbows all seized up. I don't know now. This stream is probably going to be on the shorter side, like an hour and a half-ish. So it'll be going for probably another hour. Possibly it'd only go for an hour. I don't quite know yet. Sticky hat. <laughs> Spackles. Away with thee. And away with thee. Uh, 
Um. Blue Marlin and Tuna for me. Are the, are the two I've seen, anyway. At least for big fish. I don't know what's. Freaking horse mackerels! You know what? Fine. Fine. You can be sold to Nook. Fine. Clearly it wants to be sold, even though it's not worth it, and that bait was worth more than it is. I mean, also sea bass. I mean, sea bass are everywhere, though, so I mean. That's what I get for watching the screen. When will I learn my lesson? Oh, another horse macro. So I, I, I need, I need to ask because I, I feel like I'm pretty alone on this one. Did anyone here play any of the older Kirby games and then play Kirby Triple Deluxe and feel like Kirby Triple Deluxe is just not as good as some of the others? Even though it's hyped up to be like the best one? Like... It, to me, almost feels insulting that it's, you know, basically a sequel to Superstar. They're really good games. You should at some point, Anissa. Well, I mean, Ryan, it's probably a good thing your fish aren't docking, so, I mean... Alright, Nautilus. That is a joke that I wouldn't be surprised if it went over a lot of your heads. <laughs> But, like, a lot of things in Triple Deluxe just feel badly designed or rushed. Like, they don't have the standard Kirby charm to them. One of which is an EX stage where you're basically using giant laser tubes to escort little key, you know, little key dudes all the way to some doors so they can open them for you. But, um, in, in, in other Kirby games, like even using like, well, really any Kirby game, you could theoretically just take the key from the first one and carry it through to the next one and you'd be able to open up the door. Yeah, Triple Deluxe makes it so you can't do that. Screw solving, solving, you know, making your own solution to the puzzle. No, you gotta do it the way they want you to do it. Even though getting the key and then carrying it through is a lot harder than just escorting the little key dude. At least right until the very end. I think the second key dude. And yeah, I don't know their names. I don't know the names of really many enemies in games. I don't know what that is, Ryan. I'm assuming it's something that's caught off the uh, dock at some point. <laughs> so 
it's not. Ah, okay. I've been fishing primarily off the docks, so... Mackerels. Yeah, links don't work. <laughs> it selectively doesn't let links work. Um, I tend to not look at guides of like what fish show up and don't until like nearing the end of the month. I'd rather just play and if I stumble across new ones, I stumble across new ones. I will look at what's going away at the end of a month, you know, within like the last five, six days of a month, because that's enough time that, okay, if, if it, you know, I need to catch this now, so. <laughs> time to bust ass and, and catch it. Like the stringfish, only with that I didn't have much of a choice. I didn't have the ladder until like the last three freaking days. Ugh, stringfishes suck. I had to have put three, four hundred bait into catching the freaking stringfish. And in that time, I got two golden trouts. Which is why I have one of them as a lamp. <laughs> the other has been donated. <laughs> well, I was gonna just keep fishing until I was out of bait, but my fishing rod had other ideas. So let me guess, I have a thing for breaking tools now? I, I keep breaking tools all the time. Yep. <laughs> I've broken a hundred tools. Yet the tool it would make the most sense if it broke doesn't break. That being the pole vaulting pole. Like, that would make the most sense to break, but it doesn't break. For some reason. Also, I'll just fish from in front of my house now. Because now that I do know there is a fish there, I may as well get it. So, I, I feel I must, uh, I'll just, I'll, just, I'll just put it away. I feel I must do this, because I, I, I was playing with the auto button, and, um, this is a thing. I can get amongst like three hours of, of, of dinging a gong in in like ten minutes. I don't know why it's randomly so fast in this game. It was not this fast when I was using it for uh, Splatoon in the, the uh, testing room just to see how fast it would be. It was nowhere near that fast.
sold. I should check and see what fences are at uh, Nook's thingy. The Nook Miles thing. I've already talked to almost everybody. Why do you do this to me, game? I mean, Bella likes talking to me, so I, I don't have any issue talking to her again. But the others get to the point where they're like, Ugh, you again? Which is very mood. A lot of people get like that with me. It, it's it's fine. Um, let's see. Both of those are garbage. Um, and all of this is still the same. Yeah, it looks to be. You know, let's see if this has a thing in it. The, uh, the Amiibo scanner thing. Let's, let's pick out... Let's, let's pick out, uh... Okay, it doesn't. <laughs> that tells me. Please use a different controller. Please notice the... Yeah, okay. See, this one can only be wired, Nintendo. Um... So that confirms there's even less technology within this freaking crappy controller. Um, all the more reason to not like this controller. I don't like this thing at all. Hey, Marta. Nice to see you again, Loop. Let's chat. The strangest thing has been happening. That sometimes you hit rocks, an egg comes out! It happens more often on those islands you visit. Yep, yep. And I, I know you've told me this before, Marana. Hello, Clyde. Hey again. Keep checking up on me today, huh? Let's talk. Big thing is happening soon. It's gonna be the first time it happens on Inventum. I wonder what kind of thing it is. Oh, curious the inside. Also, real squishy. I don't talk about being squishy, Clyde. Don't. Hey, Antonio. What are you doing, huh? Let's chat. Come back, Nautilus. Met Aventum's newest native yet? No, I haven't. I'm not gonna bother either. Mr. Precious are very important. We just run up to them full speed and say, It's nice to be. No. You need to put some oomph into it. You can still talk afterwards. You didn't do it using that. No. No. <laughs> I wish I had an anger, but I don't I have to use fright. I've yet to learn how to be angry, but I have learned how to fear. So, you know, there is that. Yeah, I want more of my bait. I might as well just get all of it. So I have some of like 44 bait on me right now. Oh, 46. That was close. So much more awkward fishing downward. <laughs> Frickin' horse mackerels. No one likes you, horse mackerels. You're like the frickin' mole cricket of the sea. Alright, now this. To learn exactly where I can stand. Hey, 
I could probably just cast from here, I think. Yeah, I can just cast from here. Another horse mackerel. <laughs> Good. But yeah, with with back back to talking of Kirby Triple Deluxe, and I know probably none of you particularly care, but it, it's something I want to talk about, so I'm gonna talk about it because that's how this works. I just talk about things I want to talk about. If you guys want me to talk about something, you have to you have to prompt it. Um, but like I I've had it hyped up to me of being so good for so long. That, like, all these little things about it are very much just bothering me. Especially with being told of, oh, it's the sequel to, you know, Kirby Deluxe, you know, Superstar. The, yeah, Kirby Deluxe. Um, when it really doesn't feel like it at all. It, it doesn't even feel vaguely connected to Superstar. It feels connected to Returns to Dreamland. Like, it feels very connected to that. Like, to the point where it feels like Returns to Dreamland again. Only Returns to Dreamland is better. And I'm pretty sure Returns to Dreamland came out first. I don't know the exact release date. I know I ended up getting Returns to Dreamland first. Um, though that isn't really much to go on because I only got Triple Deluxe like a year ago. <laughs> so... But it, it, it is definitely a Kirby game that I don't think I'm going to 100%, which is unusual for me, because I, I've 100%ed literally every other Kirby game I've played. And the only other Kirby game I haven't played is uh, Robobot. Like, that's the only one I haven't played. I suppose I technically haven't 100%ed Star Allies yet. But I'll get there. I'm not that far off. I've I've literally only got to uh, finish that that new mode, the dimensions thing. I say new. It's old at this point. New to me mode because I haven't played in a long time. Though even then, technically my save file does say 100%. So. <laughs> Though it doesn't help that I know 100% of uh, Triple Deluxe includes collecting all of the keychains, and they're obtained by random chance, which is annoying, and 100% completion should never be tied to random chance. I have that same problem with Final Fantasy XII, like, 100% completion is tied behind Literally a percent chance of getting a certain piece of equipment out of a treasure chest And if you don't get it, you have to load your save and try again. I just messed up that fish because I was staring at the screen um, Like it's silly like you should never be forced to deal with random chance to 100% something I, Why do I keep looking at the screen? Come back Nautilus I'm just gonna look over here. I can't look at the screen if I'm looking over here. Uh, <laughs> but like, to me, just like having something like 100% completion locked behind random chance just. It, it screams bad game design.
Which is not something I'd ever expect from a Kirby game. Like... They're usually amazingly designed games. But unless the entire game is built around that random chance, then it is kind of bad game design. Like, using, you know, Pokemon as an example. It is, an, it is a game where your 100% completion is locked behind random chance of encounter rates. But that's a core game mechanic that has been around since the very beginning. And the entire game is built around it. Randomly obtaining keychains that you have no influence over isn't, you know, isn't good game design. You either need to build the game around it or just don't have it. And once again, the example of, like, Final Fantasy XII and the item in a... The item in a treasure chest that has many random things it can give you. And if you don't get the right item, well, sucks to be you, load your save, do it again. Like... With something like the, you know, the randomness of Pokémon encounters, you can influence it. You can reduce the random chance. I mean, if, if, like, the next Pokemon game was every route you had an equal chance to find every Pokemon, that would not be good game design, like... And that is what the, uh, keychains in Triple Deluxe are like. Like, every key silver keychain you pick up has a random chance of being any keychain. And there are... a few hundred of them. And, like, they're cool things! Like, they're- the, the keychains are basically a, uh, you know, trip through previous Kirby games. It's things from previous Kirby games. But they're tied to your 100% completion, which is frustrating. A thing I've also not noted is that in Triple Deluxe there is also gold keychains, which there is one in every level that you also need to collect. To me, the 100% completion should be having collected all of the gold keychains. Because those are things that you can reliably control. Y you can be reasonably certain you've gotten them all. And you don't need to stop and literally grind them for hours to get that, you know, five or six of them you're missing, you know. I mean, I, I do very much agree, randomness does have its place in games, but... There, there are a lot of times where it just should not exist. Or at least, the randomness should be toned down. A case of randomness should be being toned down is very much the stringfish. That is... Mm. <laughs> I envy anyone that didn't have to spend that long trying to catch a string fish. <laughs> You, 
you, you referred to yourself twice, sir, Nautilus. <laughs> Are there just two of you? I kind of guessed you didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I still felt like I had to point it out. See a regular balloon up there. I must go and get it after this fish. Zebra turkey fish. Oh, you can't you just can't cancel out of this now. Okay. Previous games, I'm pretty sure you could cancel out of it by switching tools, but I think I was already standing in the right spot. Striped dress. <laughs> don't, I don't need dresses anymore, game. I have pants now. Yeah, I will admit, there are things about Kirby Triple Deluxe I do like. Like, I don't just hate the game. But it's definitely not one of my favorites. And to me, it feels like one of the weaker Kirby games. And maybe it is just because of when I got to it. And having played Star Allies, and Returns to Dreamland and Superstar. And Superstar Ultra twice, and Squeak Squad a lot. And, well, I say Superstar Ultra twice. I've had two carts of Superstar Ultra. I've... <laughs> I've probably played and beaten that game, like, five or six times. Superstar is definitely where the series peaked, at least in my opinion. Well, I suppose Superstar Ultra. The original Superstar I just lump in with Ultra now, because they're basically the same game, but Ultra has more content. Normally, I can't either, but I just really like Kirby Superstar. <clears throat> My voice kind of died there. I just really like Superstar, like, a lot. Same with the Star Ocean games. Like, the first two Star Oceans, I've played through them multiple times each. The first game, I've played through at least three times. And second, I've played through a lot. Like, <laughs> so much I've lost count. I need to get back to my playthrough of uh, 
the first Star Ocean. I need to be awake for night streams for that. I was legit asleep last night, so. With how tired I'm feeling now, I might honestly have to take another nap already. They're really good. I'd, I'd, I'd honestly suggest Star Allies for anyone just getting into the series. Kirby Star Allies is probably, it, it, it's my number two. Like, it's just below Superstar. Superstar is a bit harder to get a hold of these days. Because, I mean, it, it's, a D, it's a regular DS game. Like Superstar Ultra anyway. Regular Superstar is even harder because it was an SNES game. Which for most people would mean getting a hold of an SNES and the game, which is not exactly the most possible thing. And I've gotten to the point with Superstar, well, Superstar Ultra, that I can get through all of the base Superstar game content within, like, two hours. <laughs> yep, there's my slingshot. Antonio, why are you working out right there? I guess, I guess he just feels like it. Yeah, let's come solve this fish. Got nothing new. Yeah, I'll go another 15 or so minutes on the stream, but at, at, at about the hour, I think I'll end things off. I just gotta sell the striped dress. Jeez, that's not much. <laughs> and that is why I fish off of the dock. <laughs> It's just better muns. Though, I'll, bu I'll, bu I'll buy the mysterious carpet and wallpaper from, uh, Sahara. Gonna assume she's gonna still be down here by my house, creeping about. Jeez, everyone's down here. Mysterious wallpaper! The money payment. Using one will make you excited for another one, and so on. Yeah, I already want the flooring. Mysterious flooring. No, no, I'm... To see what it is, I'm gonna place it down. I'm going to try and navigate to it without looking at it, so I can be... Eh. So. Okay, once again, the uh, wallpaper is really nice. The flooring, though... Hmm. Not sure how I feel about it. Definitely better than the Bunny Day stuff. Sidewalk. Yeah, the summit wall is really nice. Actually, um, where do, 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 do. see how this looks in the uh, the moth room? This could work. 
Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I'm definitely gonna need to reorganize in here, but this could very well work. <laughs> it has a bit of an ominous feel to it. The lack of music is helping with the ominous feel. Like, it, it just is. Wait. Need fishing rod. Eh, too too far away. That's not gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> the coffee is cold. It's a problem with having a smaller cup. Though I mean, my cup is very appropriate for egg day themes. So you know. It has that going for it. Just gonna fish without bait for a bit. I am expecting eggs. This looks like an egg. No, it's a squid. Squids and eggs are, you know, very similar. Hey, these two are talking. Let's see what they're talking about. You guys decide on what you're eating snack time? I guess so many choices I can't make up my mind. I love me some snacks. What are your op options? Well, there's cotton candy. Or Krugel. Or almond jelly. Or blueberry pie. Or vanilla gelato. Or, um... Vanilla gelato. That's everything I, I bought special for today's snack time. Hmm, it's a tough decision. That's why I usually just eat whatever I can reach when I'm lying on the floor. Deciding is hard. You know what I do when I see two cute outfits and I want one, but I, I want, but I can only afford one? I buy both! It's totally the worst choice, but I get everything I want, even if I feel lousy later. Hang on, I think I'm having a moment of clarity. Personal growth is neat. Well, I'm gonna head off and eat all the mint ice cream I can find. Maybe some mooncake. Oh, I forgot a pina cotta. He has so much food. Too close. I don't know what to do for this last little bit. Wait, I, just, I still need to find my money rock. That's what I'll do. Which means I'll probably end up breaking my shovel, because it's pretty, probably pretty close to breaking. That is the wrong spot to be digging. I need to dig one square over this way, up and to the, to the left. Create a nice little wedge. My brain is still stuck on the old system. I already have that bug. I'll take all the iron, though. I guess my house is just popular today. Um, I should also see what Nook wants to do next. I assume that's going to involve putting down plots for more houses. Which I still don't even know where I'm going to do that at. But I might just check with him tomorrow. I made nearly 55,000 bells already today. Come sell the rest of my stuff. I also need to remember to water the rest of my flowers later. And I know I have a couple fish. Sea bass, squid. Sea bass and a squib! Hmm. 
suppose I could just keep watering flowers now. So I've, I've got like 10 minutes to kill, so. I have a watering can on me, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. Oh, there's another digging spot right here. Another fossil or egg? Egg. Of course it's an egg. Why would it actually be something useful? Well, I say that. The eggs are pretty useful. Assuming I haven't already crafted everything. I don't I don't know if I have or not. And I'm gonna start with watering the flowers on the uh, the other side. Where my watering can broke before. Which I believe was on this white rose. If it would sparkle, that would be very handy. Not even seeing sparkles. Okay, I'm seeing a sparkle there, so I've done that. I'll do this one then. Nice! Still debating if I want to move my own house up here, or if I want to just put a villager's house up here. Or if I just want to keep up here clear. I might just keep up here clear. Okay, I think I've already watered that. Um... Don't know. My brain isn't working properly today, as you could probably tell. Um... It's one of those days where I probably just shouldn't be streaming, but I don't want to miss a day of streaming, so. Well, that was a thing. Uh, okay, I've got those. Stick. This stick. I also really need to get around to uh, putting all the uh, streams into a playlist on YouTube. Now because YouTube has been struggling lately, um, one of my streams got uploaded before another one did. Like before the previous one did, so. I'm gonna need to, uh, figure out... Uh, it's any river up on an elevated spot. I have not yet ran. I will get to it. I'm gonna keep saying that. I need to just do it. I'll listen to some of it right after the stream. The longer I take to do it, the more I'm going to be annoyed with myself for not doing it.
drink of my coffee. Yeah, jeez, my throat's still congested. I want to say pollen allergies, but I've never had pollen allergies before, so I have no idea why my throat is so congested. My nose is also a little stuffy, but... I've never had pollen allergies before, so... <laughs> my mother does, though, so it wouldn't be that out of the ordinary if I actually had them and have just never noticed before. May also just be where I've not been outside much for like the past two years. <laughs> microphone off? What? It shouldn't be off. My, my volume levels are still showing it working. You guys still hear me? Hey, well, Ryan can hear me, so that that means it's not on my end. <laughs> that that's a bit of a relief. I was a little worried for a second there. Can't exactly afford to replace this uh, this microphone. Why? Why are you taking a piss in your highlight? That's, that's not a good thing to do, DJ. It's just not. You'll get all smelly. Can you hear the game? Me saying that isn't gonna matter. Could, can someone ask Nautilus if he can hear the game? Thank you, Ryan. Okay, um... Hmm... Yeah, he might have pressed, pressed M. Jeez, I can't spell. Okay, it's working again then. <laughs> I was I was typing out explanation on, on what to check to troubleshoot it, but I guess that works. So I get for typing really slowly. Um, all of you probably could have typed out what I had said in like a fraction of the time it took me to type it out. But it is five. I'm gonna head back to me house. But one second. Clyde has fleas. Give me your fleas. Caught a flea! The curse is lifted. You saved me from a flea? I guess you could say it was the fleeced you could do.
<laughs> he deserves that. Make a donation. Flee! Hey Blathers, here you go, have a flea! You can flee! What a wretched thing! I mean, I'll agree there. Oblige ask, do you like doing... Yep, please tell me more. Ah, I see. In that case, ahem. Allow me to be blunt. The flea is foul. It is also disgusting, repugnant, and vile. Whoo, but I digress. This horrid pest sucks the blood of humans and animals. In fact, it is the flea's own saliva that makes us itch. So did you know their legs are so strong they can jump more than 50 times their own body length? So you see, it's all too easy for a flea to jump from you to me. I hitch at the very thought. Yeah, fleas are freaking the worst. Like, uh, my cat was an outdoor cat, so she'd quite often end up getting fleas, because that's just what outdoor cats end up getting, is fleas. A lot. And, uh, she'd spread it, spread them to her kittens, which, you know, would mean there'd be a lot of fleas around, and we'd have to treat all of them for fleas, and, yeah, not fun. Not fun at all. Because <laughs> they'd also get on you and bite, and it just, mm, not fun. He'd also end up spreading to the dogs once we had dogs, and yeah. Not, not fun for anybody. But I'm going to be ending the stream off here, because I... I'm hungry. I'm also kind of tired. I, I didn't exactly sleep well last night, so... Um... With that, I will note there is a Discord, should anyone wish to join it. It is linked in the info part down below the stream here on, on Twitch. Um, I'm going to once again try to have a stream tonight. Hopefully I'll be able to actually manage it tonight. I might not be able to. I likely won't be able to. Let's face it, this is me we're talking about. Um... I will be back streaming tomorrow, but it'll be on YouTube. There is a link to the YouTube and the also in the info bit here on Twitch. So, with all that said, thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you here either later today or tomorrow, whenever the next stream is. Well, not here, but on YouTube. See you all then. <laughs>